were clear. The comments were clear. I mean, if you say part in Jessica, the, the implication is clear. You don't need any exceptional interpretation skills to be able to decipher what was being discussed. So it, it gave the impression that this was an activity that had the blessing of the governmental and party apparatus of the MPP. And therefore, we're not going to see the end of that uh, canker anytime soon. Since then, nothing much has transpired. The president has had them pumped as and when it is convenient. He has engaged in some public relations gimmicks and made commitments that he never intended to keep. So I don't expect that anything much will come out of it, except for the fact that this would appear to vindicate the positions we've taken. That the reason why Galante has flourished is that from the highest levels of the Akufaru Baumia government, uh, they have support. And perhaps the only way to ensure that the fight is won is to see the back of this government uh, electorally come 2024. Otherwise, I don't think that any Ghanaian should, mm. should live with any sort of expectation that anything will come out of there. Why? Even those who have been indicted, those against whom glaring evidence of wrongdoing and corruption have been tabled, are working squad free. Show me one MPP person who is facing trial for any form of wrongdoing. And nobody can argue that we do not have evidence of wrongdoing on the part of MPP. There are people standing trial for far less compared to what MPP have done and have not been prosecuted.